Paperless Environments. Paperless Environments is the latest technology in electronic document management systems. Electronic document management systems are systems that allow you to store all your documents in a vault. There are four ways to actually get documents into the vault, and that's what we're going to focus on today. First of all, you can scan documents directly in from a scanner. You can bring files in that have already been scanned into a file batch. The third way is to actually print those documents into the vault. And the fourth and most easiest way is to actually just drag and drop documents into the vault. How that is accomplished is this. To actually scan a document in, we click on our file batch document up here and a wizard will walk you through how to get the documents in. And it's a four-step wizard. Or you can actually bring it in from a file. As you can see here, I click on File. And if I click on this button right here, I can bring one or multiple documents in at the same time. Open up the documents and the wizard will step me through by clicking the Next button down here to finally get the documents into the vault. The third way is to be able to print from any application that you own that allows you to print from that application. Here, one of the more common ways would be, the, would be a Word document that I have on the screen. To get this document into the vault, you just merely need to go to File, click the, click the Print button, and Paperless has a print driver that we use, and if I click OK, it's going to walk me also through a wizard that will let me commit it to the vault. The last way to get the documents into the vault probably the most easiest way is to simply drag and drop your document onto the surface. Here I have a contract file on the left hand side of my desktop. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button, drag it to the surface, and as you see I just dragged in a 25 page document into the vault. It's that easy. Now that we have brought our document into the system, the next step is to index the document, or in other words, file the document into our vault. To do that, we simply press on the index button up here. And the index button basically allows us to choose the type of document that we have just brought into the system. We have multiple document types, and each of those document types will ask us a series of questions as to how we want to file the, the document. In this case, the document is a contract, so I simply pick on contract and the questions as to what we need to do to file in the system are already appear for me. This ensures that all contracts will always be consistently filed in my filing cabinet. So to begin the filing, I put my cursor where the job number is requested. If I know it, I can simply key it in. But also, one of the key benefits of Paperless is that it integrates to many accounting systems. So at this point, I can hit our list button, and it's actually looking into my live accounting system. So in this case, I'm going to actually select job 03002, and then I simply enter the contract number here. Over on the side, i got 49741224. The contract date, we'll make it easy ourselves today and just select today's date. So I select today's date. Now at this point, to index it and commit it to the, to the system and file it, I want to save the entire batch. I click on the index button. And my document is now safely stored inside my vault. This feature we'd like to introduce you to is how we find documents in our vault. Finding documents in our vault is done in a matter of seconds compared to going to files in your paper systems and spending sometimes not only minutes, maybe hours, and possibly never finding the document at all. So let's take a look at how this works. I simply click on our Search Utility button up here, and on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see that it has a list of all the documents that I have rights to to look in the system. I want to find a specific document for a specific job, or I want to find the purchase orders, all the purchase orders issued on a job. I would challenge you that in your current filing system, that may take basically all day. It could take two days. Who knows how long? But in this case, we're going to show you how you can find those in a matter of seconds. So the document that I'm looking for is purchase orders for job 03003. So I look down to here to find the document called purchase order. I click on it, and down below, it gives me all the ways I can search for that purchase order. 
In this case, I told you I was looking for a certain job number, so that's one of my indexes. I simply put my cursor in there, and I'm looking for all the purchase orders on job 03003. I double click it, and I just basically click on search, and up on the right hand side of the screen came every purchase order that was ever issued on this job to date. And you can see I can actually see what the purchase order number was and the date the purchase order was issued. To see more information on that purchase order, one of the ways I can look at that is to simply highlight it. I can click my info button down here, and it's going to show me certain information, notes, and so forth, and I also can see how it was indexed, what job it went to, what cost code it went to, what cost type it was. The other way I can look at that document is simply to double-click it, and it will appear in my viewer screen on the right-hand side of the screen. From here, I can do multiple things with the document as well. Maybe at this point I want to email this purchase order because somebody has called and said they lost that document.